A praise of the badass Ukrainians. When he uploaded this, it was already debunked. The fucking Snake Island story. White rights, of course. This is a video from The Guardian. Uh, it is captioned, Go f*** yourself. Ukrainian soldiers on Snake Island- This was debunked like three days ago. The Ukrainian Ministry of Defense confirmed that they are alive. Yeah. The defiant soldiers of Snake Island are actually alive and well, says Ukraine's Navy. So this is just fake. If you don't know the story, the story was that there were 13 soldiers on this little island. They were actually border guards from what I understood. And um, a Russian warship told them to surrender or it would open fire. And rather than like surrendering in a hopeless situation against a fucking warship, the story was that they said it to go, they told the warship to go fuck itself and then died for no fucking reason at all. Just a completely worthless waste of human life when they had the option of surrendering. You know, it's one thing to like stay back and, and cover a retreat for your fucking comrades or something and end up dying. It's not just pointlessly fucking die because you want to fight a warship with small arms. And like that being celebrated is so fucking stupid. Like if that story was actually real, it would have been like a commanding officer essentially sentencing the people under him to death because he wanted to have a Reddit moment and say fuck you to the Russians. It wouldn't even be worth it for a warship to shell an island guarded by 13 fucking dudes and just massacre them. Even if they said fuck you. It doesn't make any sense. And the whole story Praise turned out to be to false. Allah. I don't even know if the, the audio was real or not, but the soldiers are all alive. Every single one of them is alive according to the Ukrainian Navy. Even the president said they were all dead, but they have been confirmed as alive. They, have, they were taken prisoner by Russia. So yeah, this is from um, the 28th of February. So this is from before he, Sandra Hall even uploaded this. This story was already proven to be false. Not just, but the very premise of it. It's not something to celebrate, man. War isn't fucking great. There's, there's certainly acts of heroism in a defensive war like this, a, a righteous resistance like this. But this isn't one of them. This is just pointless fucking death. Like, yeah, the Ukrainians are in the right, but I still don't think that they should essentially just be committing suicide in a fucking hopeless situation, man. Live! Don't die for nothing. Don't die just to say fuck you and slightly annoy the Russians. I honestly probably didn't even annoy them in reality, but that was the premise behind it. Don't just fucking get yourself killed for no reason when you have the option of surrendering. The Russians, regardless of what people say, they're not the Asiatic hordes who are just going to mass murder and torture surrendered, random surrendered border guards who have no, no useful information to offer them. Give me a fucking break, man. But yeah, let's see what Xanderhal has to say on this story that was literally debunked before he even made this. And tell Russian ship before being killed. So basically a bunch of Ukrainian soldiers were uh, stationed on an island. A big Russian warship pulled up and contacted them and said, surrender, this is a Russian warship, surrender or we will fire. And they responded, Russian warship, go fuck yourself. And Look, if you are 13 soldiers on an island with like rifles at most, and a warship shows up and it says, we are giving you the option to surrender before we start shelling. And you know, there's not, you don't know that there's reinforcements literally right there about to arrive. The only thing that you should do is surrender. I don't fucking care. Just fucking surrender. Please don't get yourself killed for no fucking reason. Let alone because obviously this is not a decision that's going to be made democratically. It's going to be made by a commanding officer who's then going to get everyone else killed. The premise of the fake story is ludicrous on its face. And that it's being celebrated just shows that people are essentially memifying an actual fucking horrendous war. Awful, man. Then died. Uh, because they're badasses. So we're going to go ahead and um, give they're not, that a listen. Then They're not dead. They're alive. And the premise is fucking dumb. No one in the chat seems to seems to fucking know that this was already debunked before he even watched this. Like, how is he talking here? Snake Island, I am a Russian warship. It's me, I am the Russian warship. Is this how navies talk? I don't think it is. Is this so obviously bullshit just from... At least if the translation is accurate, it's so obviously bullshit. Like what? Just one guy who's like, hey, should I tell him to go fuck himself? So like one guy manning the radio and like another person who like told him to do it, like two of them made the decision to tell the ship to go fuck itself and then got everyone killed. Is that, would that be something to celebrate? Not in my book. It's a hopeless situation. What's the fucking point? It's not even real. This didn't happen. <laughs> I just... I want, like, what is wrong with these people? Am I crazy for wanting to preserve human life rather than just people dying because they want to have a Reddit moment? Literally, 
the most legendary last words of what the fuck of all time. They might be alive. I hope they're alive. They might be alive. Okay. Just like learning, he uploaded this anyway. Even when chat told him they're alive. Uh, okay. On top of that, we've got more shit to look at uh, because the, the we have just had. A, 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 He's literally just looking at like a bunch of unconfirmable propaganda. Don't don't get me wrong. Rush is also doing a lot of fucking propaganda, but you just don't really hear about it as much because it's not being spread in Western circles as much, and it's also a lot more self-evidently bullshit. Like you know, like the other day, like I think it was the Russian Minister of Defense or something who said that like. Straight out of the fucking Israeli playbook that they were bombing apartment buildings in Kharkiv because the Ukrainians were using civilians as human shields. You've learned very well from, the, from Israel. Good work. They've learned all of the excuses, honestly. Putin even, even tried to use the, the, the Iraqi WMD excuse. Like somehow Ukraine has weapons of mass is going to have weapons of mass destruction. Fight. And so how much he's just like going on the round. Russian warship, go fuck yourself. Epic meme, something that literally didn't happen. Titanic. This is like just a fucking run through of all of the random fucking Ukraine so badass propaganda. Like this war is not an action movie. It's a fucking terrible war that should not be happening. It should not be being mythologized. Ukraine is absolutely in the right, but you don't fucking be like, oh, these people are so fucking awesome, man. That's so cool. We mourn this shit. We don't think it's awesome. Like, what the fuck? This is, like, not even anti-war. It's, like, pro-war. Like, you kind of get the sense at this point like, that, like, these people would honestly probably support, like, Ukraine just never surrendering and every single person in Ukraine dying because it would be badass. That's the vibe that you get from this. Yeah, it's like an epic video game last stand to them. It's like fucking Avengers Infinity War or something. It's not... It's just... It's just... Like... I don't even know how to put it into words. War is hell. War is a tragedy. There certainly can be heroes in war, but war itself is not something heroic that you go around looking for fucking epic heroic propaganda to spread around to try and frame the war as if it's something positive. Like, these people are, like, relishing in this. They're, like, borderline celebrating it. It's so fucked up. Yeah, the Ghost of Kiev shit was literally from a video game. Though that one is kind of more obvious. So much propaganda. And yeah, there is Russian propaganda too. We just don't really hear about it as much because no one outside of Russia believes it other than Caleb Morpin and Jackson Hinkle, okay? And maybe Max Blumenthal. Yeah, definitely Max Blumenthal. And it just doesn't get filtered as much. And obviously Ukrainian propaganda is less bad, significantly less bad, because it's in promotion of like a resistance rather than an invasion. But it's still propaganda, it's still not real. There's no media literacy here at all, and I think that's really being exposed. So obviously, Generation fucking Z, like the Zoomers, are just illiterate, me illiterate in terms of media, media analysis. They see something, they believe it. It's that simple. They don't try to like assess claims on their own method, on their own merit, but like assessing the evidence behind them. It's just like, see thing, repeat thing. See thing, thing true, unless me no like thing. It's that simple.